Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel. It is day three of our Alaskan Disney Cruise Line vacation, and guys, it is ridiculously cold outside. This is by far the coldest day that we've had so far. What am I seeing right now in the water? What am I seeing right now in the water? What is that? Is that a sea lion? Is that a seal? What is that? What is that? It's sticking its head out of the water. What is that? That looks like a sea lion or a seal. Just based off of the nose and the face. What was that? Oh my god. That was the cutest flipping thing. You guys saw that too, right? You guys saw that too, right? <laughs> well, anyways, I mean, before I was interrupted by the most adorable thing, look at my view. Look at what I just woke up to. It is 7.45 in the morning right now. And this is what I woke up to. How unbelievable is this, guys? Never in my wildest dreams did I think that I would be able to experience something like this. And like, oh my gosh. This is absolutely insane. Today is going to be an absolutely wild day. So anyways, guys, like I was saying earlier, it is going to be what I possibly believe is the coldest day of the entire vacation because it is Glacier Day. We are heading on over to Dodds Glacier and we are going to try and get as close to the glacier as possible. We're gonna be spending a lot of time up on the upper decks because today is quite possibly, if I'm correct, the only day that a lot of the characters come out in their Alaska specific costumes. So we're gonna have a little Eskimo mini who's all bundled up we're gonna have fisherman mickey and then we're gonna have donald daisy goofy and pluto out in their flannels and it is just going to be the most adorable thing and it is frozen night tonight so we have a lot of frozen activities to actually look forward to in today's video it's gonna be a very very fun day guys it's gonna be a very cold day so this florida boy is not ready for this cold so if you guys are excited for this video make sure you grab a jacket and bundle up because i am gonna do my best to send the cold your way let's not waste any more time guys let's head on upstairs for breakfast. The captain just said that we had a pot of killer whales on the port side. We're trying to see if we can spot any. All right, breakfast is looking very similar to what I had yesterday. Have some hash browns, eggs. They actually have eggs with salmon in them. I have an egg benedict, of course. They have an English muffin with some sausage and egg in it. I got some Mickey waffles and some sausage. Just finished up with breakfast. Delicious as always. And came up to the top deck, deck 10, just to get a better look at our surroundings. And gosh, it is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Let's go ahead and make our way over there and take a look at the other side. Wow. We are just out here. We are officially in Alaskan waters, which is really good. And they said that we should be approaching Endicott Arms at about noon-ish. And that is when we are going to start making our way through the, the pass, I guess, to head towards the glacier. So we'll see if we can see anything really interesting. I know the captain earlier said that he saw a pot of whales. I went and looked. I couldn't see anything. But it's going to be a great day, guys. You can see the tech crew down there hard at work getting the stage ready for freezing the night away deck party that's going to be happening tonight. It's going to be celebrating the movie Frozen. But also, guys, I want you to take a look at that snow-capped mountain over there. That is so pretty. Taking a look out at the front of the ship, nothing super interesting to look at at the moment. We are just kind of out here in the middle of this body of water. We are moving very, very slow, which is not a bad thing. But yeah, let's go ahead and head on inside, see what's happening inside the warmth of the cruise ship. <laughs> and then we'll be back up here later as we get closer to Endicott Arms. Pot's back in the room for just a little bit before we head on down to Azor for the glacier. Uh, seminar I don't know I, I don't know exactly what you call it informational session lecture <laughs> but anyways guys uh, I pop back into the room I look outside and I just wanted to show you guys this because I'm sure you guys can never get enough shots of the beautiful Alaskan skyline mountain range I don't I don't know I'm not very knowledgeable when it comes to nature I'm a city boy through and through <laughs> this is more of Coda's expertise and she's not here but either way, it's still very beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, take a look at that. Eskimo Mini is out. Oh my gosh. Not only do we have Eskimo Mini, but downstairs we also have Princess Tiana, and we also have Ariel as well. 
Oh my goodness. We'll have another opportunity later to take a picture with me, but for right now, let's go ahead and head into Azor and learn about some glaciers. My goal today, my goal for these 45 minutes that we're gonna spend together in here is not to replace anything that you're going to see out on deck, but rather to share some information with you that will hopefully make your enjoyment even more, even, even better when we get out on deck and can actually take a view of the glacier and the, the environment, the natural landscape that the glacier has, has created. Um, I find that when I understand something better, I often enjoy it more, and I hope that you feel the same way. The winner is the person who gets there last. <laughs> <laughs> the rule is you cannot stop moving, okay? You're moving like a glacier. Glaciers don't stop moving. They just move very, very slowly. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> Folks, this is thrilling. <laughs> so a glacier, glaciers move all different speeds. Um, there are some glaciers that are doing what's called surging, and for glaciers, that's moving on the order of several feet per day. Um, other glaciers are hardly moving at all, but they are all still moving. A very rough estimate for the average would be about 10 inches per day. Okay, 10 inches in a day. Um, average for glaciers, and that is about what the glacier that we're going to see here um, is, is doing. Uh, Franklin, are you moving? Okay, okay. Oh, we're retreating. Wow. <laughs> there is a humpback whale right over here in this area. I neglected to get the camera because I was looking at him through my binoculars, but he is right here. I think my mom caught that on video. So if she did catch it, I'll put that clip in right here. We're standing in line right now waiting for Donald in his Alaska outfit. Look at how cute he is. He's got the little beanie hat on and the plaid and the vest. I love it. Just got our picture with Donald. We are now next in line to get a picture with Minnie. So what you guys should definitely be aware of is on Glacier Day, on Dawes Glacier Day, that is gonna be the day where you are going to take the most pictures with the most characters. And starting at about 11 o'clock, that is when the characters start showing up on the upper deck. So just be aware of that. Check your navigator and you will see the list of times for all the different character meet and greet locations. It unfortunately doesn't list which character is going to be exactly where. It just says character photo, but just so you know, for pretty much the entirety of the remainder of the afternoon is when all the characters are gonna be up here on the upper decks in their Alaska specific outfits. So just bear that in mind. Oh my gosh, she's here. Oh my God. She is absolutely adorable. <laughs> Hello Mickey, or Minnie, I'm so sorry, Minnie. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? I love your outfit. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. I love your boots too. They're so furry. I love it. You're nice and warm, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh, I've been waiting a long time to meet you in this outfit. You look so adorable. Can we take a picture? Mickey Mouse is over there across the way in his sailor outfit. Unfortunately, they closed the line off. So we'll be sure to get a picture with him a little bit later on. Oh my gosh, guys, take a look at that. Our first little teeny tiny iceberg. There's another one over here, but oh my gosh, we're going to start seeing a lot more of those as we enter. Like, look, you can see some more down there. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, and take a look at that waterfall in the background over there. You can see just beyond the waterfall, it's the snow-capped mountain. That's a waterfall. Oh my gosh, this would be so much more awesome if the sun was out and there wasn't as many clouds. It's still a very beautiful sight. But man, we would be seeing so much more. Literally, the only reason why I'm wearing my face mask right now is to kind of cover my face and act as a little bit of a scarf. That way, the cold air isn't directly hitting my face and mouth. You know what I mean? Just kind of using it as a bit of a scarf. But it is cold. I don't know exactly how cold it is right now, but it is cold. Oh my gosh, check out these icebergs that we're coming up on right here. 
these are just little ones we're gonna be passing some much larger ones later but wow I have never seen something like this before it's so blue that is insane and these are just little bits and pieces of the glacier that have broken off and they're just out here in the water chilling <laughs> chilling I make myself laugh <laughs> Oh my god, but I would love to go out there and just get a piece of it, you know, just touch it. Man, that is some gnarly stuff. Check out this one over here, it's nice and pointy. I love that they also have a camera at the very front of the ship pointing forward, so that way you can kind of see more or less what's coming up. And oh my god, wait a minute, that's Goofy over there. Hey yo, Goofy, look at you. Oh my god, that is an adorable outfit. Okay, we gotta head over there. Wow, take a look at Goofy right there. And then you have snow-capped mountains over here. That is absolutely insane, man. What is life right now? Look at Goofy in his outfit. How adorable is that? <laughs> I love it. So what in the world is happening over here? I'm seeing cookies and what might be hot chocolate and hot teas coffees oh my goodness that is awesome all right boys and girls hello we have hot chocolate we have tea we have coffee all right oh my gosh that is awesome thank you so much <laughs> and they're selling of course the souvenir alaska tumblers that we already got yesterday with some adult hot chocolate over here as well some other adult beverages that's awesome and take a look at that guys those boats over there those are the ones that the people who had the glacier explorator excursion that's the boats that they take we were scheduled on the three o'clock excursion but the three o'clock one got canceled because one of the boats was having a mechanical issue and so they had to rearrange a bunch of people and they had to boot a bunch of people from the three o'clock one and we were unfortunately one of the unlucky ones chosen so maybe next time i definitely want to come back and do this next year take a look at daisy she's out here in her winter outfit as well she looks adorable so sassy i love it <laughs> take a look at pluto out here too look at his collar that is so cute take a look at his collar guys and trying to zoom in get a little bit more detail on it so we're now looking towards the back of the ship right now where we just came from and look at that view guys that is absolutely insane and then look at some of these icebergs that are out here too take a look at that one wow we are ridiculously close to the land over here. Like this is crazy. Like I'm not even zoomed in right now. This is nuts. And this is exactly why we have a pilot on the ship who navigates these things daily. Cause or else we would be in trouble. Oh my God. The little seals. The little seal pups. They're so cute. Oh my god, they're doing the banana. <laughs> oh my god, no way. It's Coda. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Look at how cute. Oh, I'm so sad I couldn't bring my girlfriend. This is her favorite. She would love this. <laughs> oh my god. Aww. Thank you so much, Coda. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, take a look at Donald out here with the mountains in the background. That is absolutely insane. These character photos are incredible. We got some more seal pups over there. I don't know if we're gonna get any closer, but they're so cute.
Check this out, guys. Look at this photo opportunity that we have here. We are so close to the glacier, and they have a photo pass photographer out here. And look at this, look at this piece of ice right here. Oh my goodness. We are stopped and we are just floating here. This is as close as we are going to get to the glacier, which I am not complaining at all. This is phenomenal. I am beyond grateful that we got this close and I'm thankful. This is absolutely insane. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the time right now. It is 2.23. That's around, that's about time when we stopped. We'll see how long we actually sit in this spot before we start turning around and making our way out. Just a little bit of a heads up guys, it can get extremely crowded up here at the very front of the ship, both in front of and behind the glass. It can get pretty crowded, and especially over here where they have a photo pass photographer. We just got some pictures over here, but you can see the crowds. <laughs> It can get pretty insane, so just make sure that you pack your patience and you're aware that you are going to be in very close proximity to a lot of people and personal space is going to be at a minimum. I am like low-key obsessed with this piece of ice right here because it is like almost crystal clear compared to all the others. It is beautiful. The captain also said, he came on the intercom and he said the reason why we can't get much closer right now beyond this point is because there are teeny tiny little seals all over the place sprinkled throughout right ahead of us and they do not want to disturb them. So I know it's very hard to see in the camera but there are little black dots on some of these blocks of ice and they're just seals chilling on there. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and leave them be but I am perfectly fine. This view is absolutely phenomenal and it's much closer than I ever anticipated getting in to begin with. Yeah. All right guys, it looks like we're starting to make our turn. Current time is 2.44. So we were parked here for about 20 minutes before we started even moving again. That is not bad at all. Okay, so I am very curious. Those boats over there, those are the ones that are a part of the Glacier Explorer Tour. The one that we got kicked out of and I'm just curious to see how close they actually get to the glacier. It's so cool to see all the crew members down there. That one in the vest was just taking a picture and they have a completely unimpeded view of the glacier which is insane. That is so nice that they get that opportunity. This is absolutely insane how we're able to just pull a 180 and turn around the other way to go back to where we came from. That is, that is nuts, man. Just watching the cruise ship turn like this with this massive mountain in the background. It is, it is just absolutely unreal. This was an experience that I'm never gonna forget and one that I hope to be able to experience again in the near future because this is insane. I honestly wish that everyone had the opportunity to experience this for themselves because this is, this is something. This is something else. Well guys, this right here this is why you pay so much money to come to Alaska. This is why you come on the trip in general. Like this right here, the, the opportunity to see a glacier up close like we did, absolutely phenomenal. And this was definitely a day to remember and I am beyond blessed and beyond thankful to be here right now. And I just have to once again thank you guys for this incredible opportunity. You guys supporting me through all the videos, all the comments, all the subscriptions, sharing the videos, liking it, everything that you guys do, all the interactions. It's because of you guys that I'm here right now and I am eternally grateful. So thank you guys so much. We're gonna go back down to the room now. I'm going to lay down for a little bit and relax before dinner. I have certainly gotten my fill of the glacier. Now I'm just tired. We were doing a lot of standing and we were around a lot of people. I just need a little bit of alone time right now. But the night is not over yet. We still have the frozen deck party tonight. We still have our frozen dinner. There is still a lot more video to go, guys. <laughs> we 
we're taking our last looks at the glacier. It's about to disappear around the corner. Just take a look at how freaking close we are to these rocks over here, to this ledge, to this mountain. Oh man. And what's cool to me is you can see the water line too. Like that part is interesting to me. Oh, I didn't even notice the little teeny waterfall. Look at that. That's really cool.
Time for round two of dinner at Tiana's, but this time it's frozen night. Brand new frozen menu. <laughs> Hello, I'm doing well. How are you? I like your outfits. You guys look great. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the vests. You guys look great. <laughs> All right, so no paper menus tonight, so we're going to have to rely on the old phone. For an appetizer, we have the Duke of Wesselton's favorites. We have the Arendelle Gravlax, Elsa's Coronation Scallops, and a Jarlsberg Tart. For soups and salads, we have Oaken's Red and Yellow Beetroot Salad, and Anderson's Baby Field Greens, Sven's Carrot Soup, and Split Pea and Ham Soup. We have our bread service, which is Knackbrod and Dark Rye Bread. For our main courses, we have Herb Roasted Chicken, Anna's Honey Roasted Marinated Salmon, Hans's Juniper Marinated Pork Tenderloin, Lobster Ravioli, and Christoph's Rosemary Marinated Stripped Loin. For our vegetarian options, we have Pabby's Stuffed Cabbage Roulades and Bulda's Vegetable Turnover. And for dessert, we have Oaken's Warm Apple Pudding Cake, Olaf's White Chocolate Fluoro Dome, and Panekin Norwegian Pancake, Frozen Yogurt Romanoff Sunday, and Elsa's Chocolate and Raspberry Tart. Our appetizer has arrived. We have the Elsa's Coronation Scallops. This is Princess Scallops baked into a shrimp kanak tarragon cream sauce topped with flaky pastry. So the scallop dish was really interesting. It was tasty, but the three scallops were inside a little soup bowl and it was covered in a puff pastry. So the puff pastry was pretty tasty too. This whole thing wasn't necessarily my favorite, but it wasn't bad either. I'd definitely try something different next time though. Next up we have Sven's Carrot Soup with Caraway and Cream. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Our entrees have arrived. For the first one, I have Kristoff's Rosemary Marinated Strip Loin with Crusted Red Bliss Potatoes, Buttered Green Beans, and Cabernet Juice. And for our second entree, we have the Lobster Ravioli with Ricotta Cheese, Spinach, and a Lobster Tarragon Resling Wine Sauce. The Strip Loin was actually really, really good. It reminded me a lot of a prime rib in its taste, but not that's not a complaint at all. It was really good. I highly recommend this. Finishing up with the Lobster Ravioli, it was interesting. Definitely wasn't my favorite dish in the world. It was a little bit fishy and I didn't care too much for the texture of the lobster within the ravioli, but it was tasty. It wasn't horrible, but definitely wasn't my favorite either. I would probably skip this and order something else next time, like the strip loin. I would definitely get the strip loin again. Okay, so our desserts have finally arrived. This one over here is the pancaken, the Norwegian pancake, which is pancakes rolled in a sweetened lingonberry cream cheese. This one over here is the Oaken Warm Apple Pudding Cake served with butterscotch cinnamon sauce and vanilla bean ice cream. And this dessert is actually one of my favorite looking visually. This is Olaf's White Chocolate Fluoro Dome centered with carrot cake, Norwegian cardamom cookie, and marshmallow whipped cream. I love this one visually. Holy cow, this is so cool. Okay, so I gotta share. Of the three desserts, I gotta share which one is my favorite. The dome cake was my favorite. The pudding cake was my second favorite. Both of these were really tasty. The pancakes, I did not like them at all. This was not good at all. The lingonberry cream cheese, it wasn't sweet and flavored at all. It was, it actually just tasted like I was eating mouthfuls of cream cheese. It was not good. The only sweet part about this dish was the actual chocolate. So definitely would not go for this one again. Go for any of the other desserts that I showed. This one was just not good. And my table mate over here, he actually couldn't finish it either. He said that it wasn't good at all. It was like eating mouthfuls of straight cream cheese. But everything else was was solid. Just came back to the room real quick and take a look at our towel animal. It's a little penguin. That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> that is awesome. And he's wearing a little hat. He's wearing one of my mom's hats. That's cute. Had to leave dinner just a little bit early to run on up here and get a spot for freezing the night away.
Elsa, Anna, and her friends are on their way. But right now, it's time to let the festivities begin. So let's break the ice. Come on, everyone. Let's cut it out. I'm happy to be here. Plus, I heard you talking about ice. I'm drawn to ice. You like ice as much as the snowman loves summer. Ice is my life. Speaking of things you like, where's Anna? Huh. Well, I thought she was right behind me. Has anybody seen Anna? Hi, everyone. Hey, down there. Sven says, clap your hooves. Great! Sven says stop. Sven says make antlers on your head. Sven says try and place like a reindeer. God, today was an extremely long day, but it was so much fun. This was the most fun Disney Cruise Line day I've had in a very, very long time, and I have I have no regrets about today. It was so much fun. Actually, 
I lied. I have one regret. I did not get a picture with Sailor Mickey. I don't know how I managed to neglect Sailor Mickey, but I did, and I am kind of sad about it. But it's okay. All the more reason to come back on another Alaskan cruise in the very near future, which we will definitely be doing because I got to bring Coda up here. I have to bring Coda to Alaska. Like this, this entire time I've been texting her and I've been saying, you are going to love this place. And unfortunately we just couldn't work it out. But anyways, that is going to do it from us tonight. We are calling it an early night. It's about eight o'clock right now. And I have to be up nice and early because tomorrow we have our first official port of call, which is Skagway, Alaska. That is my first time setting foot in Alaska. And we are starting off tomorrow and bright and early with a breakfast out in the wilderness. So that's going to be very interesting. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you guys are excited for that video. If you guys are excited to see us set foot in Alaska for the very first time on our Skagway day tomorrow, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video like this in the future. If you guys enjoyed any part of today's video, please make sure you do leave a like as it does greatly help out the channel against the YouTube algorithm and helps more people recognize the videos and see the channel and it just helps out tremendously. You guys have no idea. I hope you are all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.